Welcome back. Uh, we're going to continue playing 10 Minute Shogi Wars, and we'll see how we perform. Each time we play, we learn something new. So, hopefully, this will continue to be a good learning experience. Uh, last time we had some very exciting tactics. Perhaps things this time might calm down a bit. I don't know. Ever since I switched from playing Central Foul Rook back to playing Third Foul Rook, our opponents have played a variety of different strategies, and it's difficult to know what any one opponent's going to do. So uh, I'll try to react to however they're playing. I keep mentioning how I need to study and practice more. Well, this is the practice part, but um, study would help too. Good luck. Yeah, our opponent has selected a strategy which prevents me from advancing this pawn further. Um, we're going to try to castle. Um, yeah, let's just continue putting the king into somewhere safe. I'm not sure if bishops will exchange or not, so let's start building Mino this way instead of building half Mino first. Just in case bishops do exchange. Uh, I don't know if they will. All right. Um, okay, we've built Mino. That's fine. Still not sure where this rook's going to be. But we've prevented the silver from advancing, and they prevented our rook from advancing. So this is going to be a hard fight. Um, interesting. Oh my god. I could have stopped that. I failed to stop that, and I could have stopped it. Well, that sucks. Um, <laughs> All right, we're going to fight then. Having failed to stop an advance that I could have just moved up the rook and then the knight and not pushed this edge pawn, I could have stopped this. Instead, we have this tension. So, yeah, that's my fault. Um, the hell am I going to do about it? I don't know. Try to keep my bishop active on this line. And try not... Oh, God. Try not to cause too much trouble unless I'm ready for it. <laughs> am I ready for it? I think so. This really looks like I'm ready for trouble. Um... Interesting. I'm so confused. If I take, we exchange bishops. They could do pawn takes. They could do rook takes. Oh, rook takes is more threatening, in fact. Um... Well, not in fact. This... Jeez, this is imbalanced. Um... Hmm... I can't just let them do pawn takes pawns, so we have to go into this difficulty. 
There's no move order which allows me to avoid this. That said, now they are attacking stuff. Um, so I need to... I don't know what. Oh, that's interesting. I could take here. We're going to play with fire. Why not? I mean, in principle, it's a bad idea, but... You know... Principled Shogi at this hour of day. Entirely localized uh -huh. to this board. Um, yeah, let's find out how we can play some fun Shogi. Hmm. All right, take my rook. And later on, you're going to get to promote your rook, and I'll just deal with it. I've got three pawns in hand. That's three opportunities for me to make something happen. If three's not enough, I don't know what will be. Three's probably not enough, but, you know, let's show some confidence. <laughs> um, all right, attempt number one to make something happen. So with this here, now I can put my bishop on the diagonal and collect this lance. All right. So, step two, put the bishop on the diagonal. Step three, collect the lance. You know, that's the plan. Um, didn't take... It's not the most impressive plan ever. Um, oh, interesting. Trying to protect the silver could become messy, but um, if the silver runs, like, there's no escaping. So... Hmm... Alright. We're gonna play this strange way. There are better squares for a bishop, but also there are better squares for a dragon. So we'll see how this trade-off works. Next, I could promote the pawn, then stick another pawn back here or something. Um, okay, that makes some sense. That's clever. Uh, instead of pushing my pawn, I think I should just take the lance. Yeah, let's take this before it's not there anymore. And this allow us to target this pawn here, lance drop, lance takes silver, whatever I want to do next. Um, Alright, they're hitting my knight. Uh, as mentioned earlier, let's just stick with this plan. This knight prevents the silver from advancing here. The silver prevents my knight from advancing. So, yeah, that's kind of what we expected here. Um, oh, I can't Mifu here. That's unfortunate that... Um, all right, so now we're going to try to promote. We failed to promote. Um, do we need a knight? It looks like we need a knight. Hmm. Go for me. Oh, wait, we've got a silver now. Alright, what do they do?
we'll take this. So now we have a rook. Rook over here looks kind of useful. So we're piling up pieces against this uh, silver here. They're going to just put some blocker somewhere, but, um, I mean, I have no other way to attack this, so it seemed like this had to be the right thing to do. Um, all right, our silver is hanging, so we have to move our silver general. Um... Our horse is in the corner, so let's move this horse and start taking things until there's nothing left to take anymore. Uh, possibly pushing my pawn was smarter, but then they have a bishop exchange and my attack runs out. So that's why I'm doing this instead. Um... Right, you can have my other bishop. If they check, I just have to block. Um, rather, if they check from the front, I have to block with something. If they check this way, I have to advance. Um and hope that I am surviving this, because they don't have a gold. they got a lot of pieces, but do they have what they need, is the question. If they don't have exactly what they need to mate, uh, I might escape. They might have everything they need, I'm not completely sure. I just know, like any other move, I'm getting mated, so we're going to try this way. Um, Alright. Hmm. I think this is my best chance. If they lance drop, I night drop. Oh, pawn drop would have been so much... I'm an idiot. <laughs> pawn drop is the obvious response because I don't have a pawn on this file. Night drop just makes things confusing. And horrible. Oh no. Um... Okay. Let's run. Oh dear. Why did I have to make things confusing and horrible? Um... Yeah, night drop was not necessary. Pawn drop would have sufficed. Or just running, honestly. 
Yeah, this is going to get ugly. Because they could drop the knight right now. Um, And against knight drop, I have to continue advancing. Oops. <laughs> well, this is... Yeah, welcome back. Yeah, it is morning time here. Yep. Oh. Oh, oh. My king is not going to survive this way. <laughs> well, a horse is worth several generals in defense, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, this has to be right. This frees up my rook to attack. Um, yeah, I can't sacrifice this horse like that. Um, <laughs> Why didn't I just, like... I mean, I could have put this in front of the pawn, but then they take the pawn and they're threatening this. This horse is holding everything together, giving my king some space, but one file over might have been a little bit safer. I don't know. Yeah, because this is defending this pawn anyway. I could have just put this here. Not made things complicated. Um. Hmm. Running is possible. Placing this is also possible. Running is probably the smarter option, but I think this somehow I feel safer with the knight here. Because I doubt my ability to use a knight successfully in an attack. So we're putting it all the way back here. This lance drop, though, is not smart. But the rest of this, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, last time I was playing <laughs> OMG words, and I missed the word shogi. Um... This time when we were playing Shogi, we're not going to miss the word Shogi in the game of Shogi, but um, this game's still hard. They could take my rook here. They could also not take my rook. So here, because they did not take my rook, now their silver is hanging. Oh, I made it in one. 
if they find it. No, they don't have a silver in hand. How do I counter this? Okay, I have to move my king. And thankfully, moving my king is still legal here. Oh, crap. Uh, well, this has been an amazing turn of events. Um, can I take that? No. Sanjibyo. Thanks for the game. All right. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> I need to get better at checkmates. I. Well, they found a mate at the very end, so kudos to them. That was exciting for all of us. Thanks for the game. Good luck. All right. Let's see if I can find some good moves this game. Um, oh crap, why did I do that? Um, all right, we're going to play fourth Balrog today. For fun. Um, hmm. Okay, let's get the king moving. Got a feeling about this one. YOLO! All right, you want to fight? Let's fight. I've moved my king. How about you? This is not advisable in general, but um, I think here it's okay. <laughs> or if it's not, we'll know very soon. Um, yeah, let's go. Uh, the problem here is that they could just exchange bishops and then defend this pretty trivially. Um, so, that problem's been dealt with. Um, I'm not sure whether to do something sane. Hmm... Okay, this looks not completely crazy. You don't normally get the chance to do that. And the only reason this looks playable here is because the rook and pawn, uh, knight both guard the square. So... Um... Hmm... Wait, let's push this to give my king somewhere to run to at the very end of the game. Alright. Um, we're going to accelerate this castling. So we're going the very, very long scenic route to playing um, Ishida, third file. This is definitely the scenic route. Um, hmm. I didn't think this would happen. Maybe I should have played my pawn back another rank. My pawn was placed too high up the board. Because now if they do rook takes, I don't have a good defense. Like, if I drop a pawn here, uh, my knight's head is exposed. So... Yeah, this was... Oh, really? Are we going here? Okay. I mean, I guess we can go here. 
Why are we going here? <laughs> what is this spawn? What does this achieve? I don't get it. Um... Hmm. All right, let's move the knight out. So this, uh, they decline my rook exchange, but now if they take my knight, I can get my rook active very quickly. Um... Wait, no, I have to exchange bishops here. I don't have a choice. I mean, I wanted to, but I don't have a choice also. Um, let's activate this. My rook is still loose, but it's very difficult for a bishop to hit. Um, okay. Congratulations, you have a knight. What are you going to do with the knight? <laughs> um, I guess they're still planning what to do next. I don't know. I mean, grabbing the knight feels great, and now you have it, but you need something to do with it. Whereas, like, my rook clearly strikes this knight as soon as my bishop moves out of the way, so I'm promoting both the rook and the bishop while they're still trying to figure out where to put these pieces they've gained. Um, they could put a bishop here, we could exchange bishops, and then I take the knight. That could happen. Um, some kind of fights happening over here. All right, so they found a place for the bishop. Yeah, if I brought the silver out, they would just drop the bishop out here and hit this, and I wouldn't have a good way to defend it. At least that's what I tell myself. Um, I thought this was okay, but in retrospect, I'm losing a piece. Well, no, if they promote... Yeah, so I'm losing the lance. That's, I forgot about that. Um... So I get the knight back. They put the lance right here, making sure the rook can't move anywhere. Um, meanwhile, we're going to try to... Oh my god. I expected the silver to move and hit my bishop and something to happen. Something else has happened here. Um, okay. Go for me. Hmm. I think this is the right thing to do. The silver in the center of the board was a bigger threat. Um, yeah, so we'll exchange pieces this way. Oh, hang on. Right, I'm an idiot. Uh, so what now? <laughs> uh, 
what do we do once I've messed up? Hmm. That's a hard question. Hmm. Oh, that stings. Alright, well... Yeah, we're gonna exchange a lance for not very much. Or rather, we're exchanging... Well, I mean, if they take this, I get the gold general here. So I'm not entirely daft. It's just that did not work the way I thought it would. Um... Wait, if I hit the rook this way, I could lose more pieces. Um, hmm. Yeah, I need some caution here. So don't give away everything I have. If Dragon takes Pawn, I could move my horse to hit this gold. Um, not that I even expect Dragon takes Pawn, but, you know, I've got something planned for it. This is not where a uh, horse wants to be. It would much prefer to be free on the open board instead of just lounging in the corner. Um, hmm. All right. Normally I would try to pick some other file, but this is a nice weakness to aim at. Uh, wow. Um... They actually carried out this threat. I should have seen that coming. Um. Something. All right. We've got another gold where that first one came from. But we're going to run out of gold very soon here. <laughs> um. Yeah, I lost my attacking gold. That's really bad. Um, Alright, this horse is better in defense than in offense anyway. Um, we'll burn it if we have to. And we do have to, so there it goes. Um, interesting. Uh, we'll choose not to promote. Um, don't know how to continue an attack here. Alright, let's aim at the head of the king. Silver's still loose here, but their dragon would have to run away to take it.
I mean, they should take it, but that's the trade-off, is that I survive for one more move. And I have a chance to take this. Okay, so we're going to aim here. Um, this has become one very high stakes tactic. Um, let's draw the, out the king. This could have gone better. Yeah, we've run out of pieces. We need to reload. That's not good. Pretty sure I made it, but I don't see it yet. Oh, there's the mate. They had both a silver and a gold. Yeah, that does it. Uh, let's play one more. Yeah, had I tried to run their king into the middle of the board, that their king would have escaped. Bummer. Yeah, oh, good luck. Yeah, I... There was a lot that was missed there. Alright. Our opponent is playing some exciting moves, so let's... Uh, how do I even play this? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> um, My alarm clock is going off. Just... You could probably hear that in the background, but if not, just know that I'm focusing on the alarm clock. I'm also focusing on the game. Um, or am I? How does this opening work anyway? Alright, so they built a low castle, so we put the rook high up. And I'm a bit, I don't know what I'm doing, man. <laughs> um, still focusing on the alarm clock. Probably need to stop thinking about that and start thinking about this position. This is a bit, I didn't expect this silver to climb, but I'm really not sure what I was expecting. Um, so if I take, silver takes, and this is not perfect. Um, so we're going to fight this somehow. My king is not in the right position to fight all this. One sec, I'm going to go get, I'm going to go get my alarm clock and make it stop ringing.
All right, did I get checkmated? No, not yet. Not today. All right, so if we exchange silvers, I get murdered here. Right. Yeah, so silver exchange would be bad. Um, but I think somehow this slows their attack. Yeah, why not turn off the alarm clock? Yeah, we've done that now. Why not do it in advance? Because I was not thinking about it. Um... Okay. Two can play this. Let's bring out the silver game, right? Um, hmm. Okay, they want to open this diagonal in the center. So I want to try to keep it closed for now, but also I'm trying to like use my silver to take all of their pawns. That's a free pawn. That is a very free pawn. Oh. Well, this game just calmed down a bit, didn't it? Somehow. Um... Alright, we'll get this pawn out of striking range of the silver. Although now I've blocked my silver's ability to attack their castle. Oh, that was not super smart of me. Um, okay, so now what do I do? Now that I've caused this unholy mess to appear on the board, what do I do? I don't know. We prevent the bishop from coming out. Um... Yeah, this, this silver is very aggressive, but I think it's a little too aggressive here. Um, We'll see if they kick my rook. If they do, that takes away another square this could retreat to and would block their bishop. Oh, right. Pieces promote when they get this far up the board. How long have we been playing this game? When will I learn the rules? I don't know. <laughs> um, right. Okay. I forgot it could just promote like that. <laughs> okay. This is not my best game. But we'll do what we can from here. Um, I mean, even a promoted silver at this point can only do so much damage by itself. Right. So... I'm going to ask, do we want to exchange some pieces? I think their answer will be yes. I think my answer is, well, I don't have a choice. Um, so I think that's fine. I could move the rook away and... Um, should move the rook away here. Unless there's some other tactic that, like, in some I continually missed tactics here. It would not surprise me if I missed another tactic in a row. 
But I'm thinking the silver is protected by uh, the bishop. So the bishop could retreat once. I could kick it again, activating my bishop, threatening the lance. Um, so let's do that. I expected them instead to move this promoted silver, hitting my rook, and then they could take my lance. Uh, instead, we're just going crazy. All right. Um, it's another free pawn, but a bit more somber this time. Um, everything is hanging. This is... Yeah, I broke up the fortress. Mm. Go I broke up my own fortress. Mm. Hmm... Hmm... Jesus. It's okay, somehow. That should be. It'll be fine. It's okay. Don't panic. Not just yet. <laughs> oh dear. Um. <laughs> Don't panic. Yeah, panicking can be fun sometimes, but not now. So we take this piece. And if they take back... With the rook. Okay, that's a dragon now. I forgot pieces promote. I'm doing super great at remembering how pieces work in this game. But I protected my knight. I'm still threatening this lance. I'm still trying to make some effort to promote my rook, but it's not going to promote. I can still take this... Really? Um... All right, that's a gold general. Um, hmm. Oh my goodness, how bad is my reading today? If we take, they take the silver. If I drop a gold, or if I do, if I pull back the gold here, uh, I'm trying to read out mate. Um, if I just run away, their dragon runs away, and my king is not long for this world. Um, Something. On the other hand, if I give them another piece, um, that's dangerous. Oh, now I see. That's not great. Um, that is super not great. All right, what do we do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, my reading is not good today. All right, let's see it. This is what I missed. Yep, thanks for the game.
All right, we're ranking down to two queues sometime soon if we continue playing like this. So, would like to match again? How about not today? Maybe some other day. Uh, three losses today is probably enough. Um, yeah, our opponent is on a four-game win streak, so congratulations to them. Best of luck to them in their future endeavors. Best of luck to me, uh, I don't know. I have six games now to review, so I've got work to prepare for, but you know, we'll review these six games soon. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.